What's up you guys and welcome back again to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make a cherry wood farm or a cherry tree farm. Guys if you want to see this video make sure you stay tuned after the intro. If you like the video don't forget to go down to the bottom click that like button. If you want to see more Minecraft farming videos please subscribe to my channel. Guys we also do lives at night it's on weekdays. Uh, we try to get to five nights a week, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, we usually post about five to ten videos a week. So if you want to see more Minecraft videos, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you know anybody else that likes this kind of thing, please feel free to share the channel with them. It really helps us grow. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to get to that cherry tree farm in just a second. See you in a minute. All right, you guys, as you can see here, I already have a cherry tree farm created. And almost all the trees have grown with the exception of a couple. And I'll explain to you why that's going on in just a minute. But the most important information that most of you guys are looking for is how do you plant these and how far apart do you plant them? Okay. And what I've noticed is that the farthest out from the trunk that one of these can grow, I think, is about eight blocks away. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's about six. There was one of them in here that I saw that was roughly about eight blocks out from the trunk. Is this it? One, two, three four five six seven see that one went all the way out to seven away so that one's not even quite as big as some of the other ones one two three four five six and uh, oh is this the one this might have been the one one two three four five six no that one's still seven uh, oh man, I can't find it anymore guys. I just found one a little bit ago that was eight blocks out from the center and I wanted to show you guys, but once they're all bunched up like this, it's a little bit harder to see it. So you kind of just have to take my word for it. Maybe just a little bit. Ooh, look at this one. Is this one it? One, two, three, four, five. No, that one's only six also. Hmm. Anyway, so we've seen seven. There was one earlier that had eight, and it might have been bunched up against another one so that we can't see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is it. Check it out. Here's the trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out from the trunk, that's eight blocks. So if you honestly and truly don't want your trees bunching up and getting stuck close together, then that means you really need to have these spaced 16 to 17 blocks apart. Okay, that means in between this trunk and that trunk, or this one actually, you need to have at least 16 spaces and personally I like to have a gap between the trees and so that means I would have 17 free blocks between the trees now for me that is just a little illogical now these trees these trees grow not in a big circle they kind of grow in a, like a like a double tree okay and so they can choose to grow uh, east and west or they can choose to grow north and south and uh, if that happens then you wind up with more space and so that's why I went, I went with a little bit of a happy medium and instead of the the 16 block minimum that I was thinking I went ahead and went a lot shorter I think I put nine blocks between one two three four five six seven eight nine so then on the 10th block, I planted another one. 
and as you can see I've had no issues with most of the farm sprouting except for maybe a couple of trees now I think that that is a little bit more effective than going 16 blocks apart on all sides because I'm gonna have all kind of kinds of wasted land space and uh, not as many trees in the same amount of area even though these are bunched up and I have two of them that didn't spawn because they were too close together and they don't have enough spawn area above them that totally makes up for the fact because I have all these other ones that are bunched up close together so your choice if you really want a nice clean looking farm then I would go 16 blocks apart especially if you have a lot of land um, if you prefer a lot more trees and you don't mind them looking all bunched up then I would recommend something like nine blocks free in between and basically plant every tenth block and that goes uh, side to side and front to back okay either way it's about the same um, this tree let's talk about some of the good things and some of the bad things about this tree so just like all the other simple trees all you need is a single sapling okay just one single sapling and then you just find a plot of dirt somewhere anywhere you want that has a free growing space above it and then once you have that growing space you just throw it in the ground and then it'll automatically grow it in on its own now just like most other trees okay you can actually speed the growth up if you have a bunch of bone meal um, you don't have to you can just leave them sit and they will grow on their own but if you wanted to speed it up then you could okay so that is always an option so that's a good thing it only takes one sapling to grow one tree another good thing is the amount of wood that you get from one of these saplings most of these trees you can harvest from the ground there is a few exceptions where the couple of blocks are just a little too high but you don't have to do no ridiculous climbing to get all the way up to the top and these may not be straight up and down but the branches do not hide within the leaves okay so it's basically one split off to two split offs so you have either a single trunk or double trunk or triple trunk just like you saw there uh, here's a single let me uh, find a double and there's another triple here's a double right here so it splits off into two and this one splits off into three I have not seen a four it's usually one two or three and that's usually where it comes from now another thing that I really really like about this wood is the color guys the color of this wood is just amazing it's got like a a brownish purple bark on the outside and then a pink like a light pink to a dark pink inside all right and so if you really need some wood blocks to make a building out of different types of pink and uh, dark purple bark then this really really works out well okay and it already also creates a very nice pink plank and uh, you can build all kinds of cool little structures not to mention these leaves these leaves are freaking awesome and they just add a whole bunch of color to the game and then you could snip these off with some cheers and get a whole bunch of them and uh, yeah it just gives you all kinds of decorations and then these bushes kind of look like little these saplings look like little flower bushes that you could plant you could close off the area so that it can't grow tall and then plant that in like one of your little areas and you'll have a nice little uh like a rose bush looking kind of thing which is kind of cute so just there's just tons of stuff about this tree that i just absolutely love all right and then also walking through it you get this really cool like leaf snow pink snow flowing effect where they just fall to the ground which is really cool okay um some of the things i don't like about this tree there's not very much i would prefer a straight up and down tree okay uh, that being said the other portions of this tree being able to harvest it because it's a splitting off tree is not as hard as say something like oak 
Okay, the oak goes up and splits off inside the branches. Sometimes it's a bit hard to find the branches. With these, there's no confusion about to where they are. They're straight line right there, then there. Even if it is a, just a little bit too high for you to harvest it, you jump up one block or two blocks, and then you can harvest it easy enough. Okay? So not too difficult of a tree to harvest. Pretty simple. Lots of wood coming from it, more so than something like a birch. Okay? Um, let's take care of this guy real quick. He's bugging me. There we go. And, hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. I can't think of much else that I don't like about this tree. Um, I, I would like to see an option where you can turn this into a giant tree. Kind of like similar to like the jungle or maybe the, the not birch, uh, what am I thinking? The spruce, like the spruce or the jungle or the or the dark oaks. I would like to see that sort of version, but I'm, you know, completely fine with these the way they are. Quite honestly, it's a it's a beautiful tree. And it's a one that you should create your own farm so that you can have these as well. Um just like I do with my other farms, I like to plant something on the sides of the trees. Just like so, so that I know where to plant them each and every time, and I don't have to count every time I replant. You could either do that, or you could replant right away. However, if you've watched my other tree farming videos, you know that I like to wait for all the leaves to despawn before I replant, um, because I like harvesting everything from the trees that I can get, possibly. Uh, I don't like putting anything to waste. Let me get this guy. Boy, these guys are a nuisance, aren't they? <laughs> anyway that's my video on the cherry tree farm or the cherry wood tree farm whatever you guys want to call these trees if you like the video please head down to the bottom click that like button if you want to see more videos just like this please subscribe to my channel guys if you know anybody else who likes minecraft who wants to know how to do different farming videos guys we've got some really cool farming videos happening like for example this week I'm going to be showing you my automatic paper farm. Guys, I got a license basically to print money in Minecraft. If you want to see that, keep uh, tuned into my channel. I'm going to show you. It's right there. That's my, my paper printing farm, <laughs> my money printing farm. Guys, you'll get to see that later this week. Um... If you know anybody else who likes this kind of thing, please share my channel with them. It really helps my channel grow. Don't forget, uh, hit up that comment section. Add some comments in there. Let me know what kind of farms you want to see. If I know how to build it, then I'll show you guys how to do it. And then I'm always learning new things. So maybe you'll see it in the future. Guys, thanks for coming. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.